Hey there, this is Galeazzo Frudo of Frudo.com and uh, I'm sorry I've been away for a while, I've been busy you know, building a website for my guitars but I'm back, I'm back now and I have two new videos coming out one is about intonation and this one is about truss road adjustment The goal of the video is to give you exact and precise and effective information on how to adjust the truss road on your guitar so you can perform that in total relax and do whatever you want change the strings, change the tuning, whatever in any case, change the weather you can adjust your truss road to get the exact comfort on your guitar that you look for there are two things that I want you to understand and listen to me carefully because these are maybe pretty new for you I, I don't think you have ever heard that with, from anyone else and I want to share that with you. Two things are very important for what relates comfort and action on your guitar. The first thing is that the neck relief which is adjusted through the truss road is much more important for your comfort on the instruments than the, the height of the saddles at bridge, than the height of the strings. The second thing is that the only thing, and please listen to me carefully the only thing that can move on its own on your guitar and bass is a neck because the neck is, a, is made of wood and wood is an alive material and it moves you know according to its cold its hot moisture environmental and weather and, and blah 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 so what does that mean in practice because we want to you know learn practice things here if you find yourself that you wake up in the, in the morning, want to practice, and your guitar, your bass, no longer action, no longer feel like what it was before, the day before. Don't touch the bridge saddle, because you, you didn't touch them. You didn't wake up in the night and touch them. Don't touch the bridge. I will teach you how to adjust that in one minute with truss road adjustment. For your neck to be an action, to be comfortable, and uh, so that you don't, not to experience any kind of buzz of the fretboard, you, the neck needs a, a light up bow. If you check the vibration of the strings while it's vibrating, it forms an ellipse, elliptical pattern which is blocked at both sides and has its maximum width in the middle of the string, at the middle of the string, which on the guitar corresponds to a 12th fret. Now, let's draw a fantastic guitar here. This is the neck and this is the body. This is the bridge. You see that that fretboard is running through a lot of portion of the string, vibration of the strings. Now, if you have too much of a straight fretboard, just like that, straight neck, you will experience some buzz on this portion of the neck. Of the fretboard. You know that strings are in tension and when you tune them they wait a lot and they tend to bend the neck that way. The truss rod is a device that allows you to counteract this movement of the neck and correct it. So how the truss rod works is very very simple and just follow me you know no misreading in here. So there is a nut where you can put a hex key inside or whatever kind of screwdriver or whatever it is, any guitar is different and if you, if you place this hex key inside the nut and turn it clockwise, so on your side, that way you recreate a back bow that way on the neck if you turn it counterclockwise, so on your side is that way you recreate a nut bow so you bend the neck that way. Now you're probably thinking, oh, I don't want to touch the truss road. I don't want to make adjustment on that because I fear that I can damage the guitar. So let me tell you what, you can just damage your truss road if the truss road is already damaged. If the guitar is new, if it's okay, you can easily perform, you know, uh, a truss road adjustment. And this is because every guitar is built in a way that you can only make very small, adjustment per time 
You cannot make, you know, a wall turn. Just stop if you feel that truss road is becoming hard to turn. In this case, take the guitar to the guitar doctor. Now let's go into the details of this. This is a guitar, acoustic guitar capo. You have to put it at the first fret here. Then you have to put your finger, one finger, at the last fret on the e string, higher E string and keep it pressed. What you're doing now is that you're using the high e, higher E string uh, as, a, as a straight line to check what is the relief of the neck. And you do this by tapping on the 10th fret. I will show you now in details. Oh, this is a close view. The capo is at the first fret and I'm pressing with my little finger the last fret. I'm tapping over the 10th fret and this is what you, it will appear to you a good truss roll setup for a comfortable action. You see the movement, the small movement. This is a neck with too much of a back bow. You see that by tapping there is no movement on the 10th fret. And this is a neck which, is too much, which has too much of an up bow. You see that the distance is higher than before. Now don't worry about how much higher or not because I'm going to give you some real life example and reference you know, to perform uh, and be sure to, of what you're doing on the truss road. Now train your eye on that and uh, you will be able to do whatever you want. But in the meantime, I wanted to give you some more stuff, some more value, some more real life example and effective stuff that you can use to start working on this. So you see this is my business card for the valve amplifiers and this is a piece of paper I cut from an envelope of the Dario uh, string. We will use this to give you exact reference on how to set up your guitar from now. Let's take the piece of the Dario envelope. Let's, you know, always keep the capo on the first fret, keep the last fret pressed with your finger and put the piece of the Dario envelope under the string over the 10th fret. Check what happens at the 11th fret. You see that as I put it here in between, nothing happens here. This piece of paper perfectly in this thickness perfectly matches the space between the strings and the uh, 10th fret. As I set up this neck for a, the truss rod of this neck for a comfortable action for both chords and solo, this gives you an exact reference you can use. What happens if I use my business card? Keep in mind that mainly business cards are always saying thickness. If I put it under the strings here, you see that at the 11th fret the string rises, so this is too much. On the bass uh, you can start with the thickness of the business card and go up till the thickness of the credit card um, if you, for a harder touch, especially if you are a rock player. Some necks tend to react to truss road adjustment immediately. Some hour uh, takes you know, more time, one hour, maybe sometimes even one day. This depends on the stiffness. Uh, of the neck, the wood uh, is made of, and um, etc. So there is a little, uh, you know, trick to reduce that, and sometimes even totally avoid this problem. And let me show you what it is. So suppose that you had to recreate uh, um, a back bow on the neck, so you turn the truss rod that way. Just go back a little bit, just like this. If you had to recreate an up bow on the neck, so you adjusted the truss, neck, the truss rod this way, just go ahead a little bit. This will compensate during the time the, the movement that the neck will make on its own. Another very, very important thing. Always check for truss rod relief, as I show you with the guitar in plain position or in vertical position. Never check for truss rod alignment with the guitar in this position, horizontal, because the gravity force will increase the up bow and you will not be able to have a real uh, perception of the, how the situation is on the neck. So, to resume, no matter the touch that you have, no matter the strings you're using, the neck must have a light relief. If you find something different on your guitar one day or another and you haven't touched anything on the guitar, don't touch the bridge. Do what I show you in this video and it will get back to whatever it was before.
Fine, we are at the end of this new video on trust road adjustment. Thanks a lot for staying with me. I uh, hope you liked the video and uh, feel free to write me. I'm available to give you help and support. You get several emails on all my sites. So, thanks a lot and, and um, see you next time with a video on the guitar intonation. Ciao, bye!